Hey you all, welcome to Pearls of Eden. Today I have a powerful word that the Lord spoke to me and I can't help but to come and share. I'm so excited. When the Lord gives me a word, it just revives my spirit. It just breathes new life into me. And speaking of breathing new life, I want to talk about the chapter that he led to me and what he spoke to my spirit. Ezekiel chapter 37, dry bones. In this season, we are definitely seeing a separation like never before, right? Between the wheat and the tares, the wise virgins versus the foolish virgins, religion versus relationship. There is just this stark distinction that we are seeing in this season. So as I give this word, I pray that the Lord prepares our heart to receive it, that it will be all of him and none of me, and that we are able to receive the word of the Lord so that we can know the times and seasons and move accordingly. Now, when the Lord led me to Ezekiel 37 through a spoken word, dry bones, can these dry bones live? What we believe and what we speak in this season is critical. Who we are aligned with in this season, it can be life or death. And I mean this spiritually in moving into the next place and space that God has for us. Now, I want to tell you there's a movement that is happening on the earth. I've been talking about this new campaign. The Holy Spirit is pouring out his spirit for we are in the last days and this must happen. We are entering into the greatest revival that we have ever known you all because of the spirit of God being poured out upon all flesh and we're just getting started. But I want to make sure that you are aligned properly with people who have the vision of God to believe that God is able. You see, Ezekiel was given a word but he had to trust that God was able to do the impossible. If he leaned on what he saw in the natural, he couldn't have the faith that would allow him to see the impossible come to life. And so when the Lord led me to Ezekiel 37 and he asked this most famous question that he has asked me about so many things in my own personal life, can these dry bones live? And of course, Ezekiel's response was, well, only you know God, but I'm here to tell you that God is doing a new thing on the earth if you can perceive it and you want to be aligned to what God is doing. There is a rebirth thing that is happening in our nation, in America, through the intercession of mighty men and women of God who are arisen, arisen, I should say, for a time such as this. We have been prepared for this moment. We were born for a time such as this. And so you are seeing the the Esthers and the Davids and the Deborahs, the royal court, I've been saying, we are united, arising in the power of God. All of creation has been waiting for this moment, even creation for the sons and the daughters of the Most High to arise in power. And it is this hour that we are here. Now, I want to tell you, there are many prophesying doom and gloom. But then there are those who are aligned to the proper purposes and will of heaven. And we are prophesying the things that are coming, the glory of God. This is a ruling and reigning season. And I'm going to keep proclaiming it to the top of my lungs because you need to understand that we are in a season where you will see God's glory like never before. And I want to read to you Ezekiel 37, because these are the words that I prophesy over our nation, that we shall live and we shall testify of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And indeed, they were very dry. He said to me, son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, oh Lord God, you know. Again, he said to me, 
prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. God is doing a new thing in America. He is doing what I say is a rebirth where everybody has casted America aside and said, you know what, America is done. God is not finished with her yet. And I'm here as God has said to Ezekiel to prophesy that these dry bones shall live and you are witnessing the greatest revival that we have known on planet earth. Get ready for great reversals. Get ready for vindication. Get ready for a season where people will know that God is the reigning God. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. This is the season where the daughters and the sons of God are arising. And we will be known because we will prophesy his glory. We will prophesy a new campaign on the earth. You will know the daughters and sons of God because we will arise in power and authority to rule and to reign. I pray that this word encourages you. I couldn't wait to deliver it. Can these dry bones live? Absolutely. We will see a rebirth of America and it will be for God's glory. Get excited.